Good evening and welcome to Northern Light News, a broadcast where I bring you current and up-to-date reports of news from around the world. another Adventure Family Night Worship. We're so happy you could be here to join us today because today we're going to talk about something that is amazingly beneficial to everyone. And what's that? Did you hear? That was a clue. Listening. We're going to be talking about listening throughout this worship service and I know you're going to be blessed. So we thank you for joining us today and let's get prepared to give praise, to give worship, and let's look forward to meeting God through learning about listening. So why don't you sit back, relax, and get ready to worship with us. So let's go. Dear God, thank you for today. Please bless us Hi, my name is Wyatt. I'm in XK. I like talking in, in I like telling stories to, to my mommy, to my daddy, to my friend, and to my God. I like to talk to them because, because, because I like them and I love them. I like to talk to them because they listen to me. It makes me really, really happy when they listen to me. I like to listen to them too because I love them and I want them to tell me lots and lots of stories. And I want them to feel happy. Listening is important so we don't get hurt. And we don't get in trouble. And and we learn what we don't know. That, that I show respect to the other people. God is the best listener because he listens to everything I say. God answers my prayers. Like when, like when he take out, takes out my bad dreams and helps me sleep. I want to be a great listener like God. I show I'm listening by, by paying attention and not playing with my toys. By looking at the person that's talking, not interrupting, by caring about the person's feelings. slow to speak and slow to become angry. Did you know that 
The word listen and silent are spelt using the same letters? Why is it important to listen? Many times in the Bible, we see commandments to listen like in Luke chapter 10, verse 16. Listening is an act of love. Just as Jesus listens to us out of his love for us, we should do the same and be good listeners. As children, we should listen to our parents as they guide us in the right way and teach us how to be obedient to God. We can demonstrate listening by pausing from what we are doing and give all our attention to our parents, teachers, the person speaking to us, our most of all to God. We show that we are listening when we are obedient to the instructions given. The, in the Bible, Samuel is a very good example of a boy who heard God's voice, listened to the instructions, and obediently did what he was instructed. May we all strive to listen to God's voice and do what he tells us to do. Dear God, thank you for Listen our shepherds, help us to listen and obey our parents, teachers, or friends talk to us. Amen. Wow. We learned so much about listening today. What an amazing time we had at worship. Like, I know I am going to be a better listener because of everything I got to hear today, too. Well, my friends, we've come to a close, and I know you are blessed. And I hope that you're going to have a blessed day coming your way. So once again, thank you for joining us. This is East Central District, and we pre presented you with tonight's Adventure Family Worship. So until next week, we look forward to having you back. Have a God-blessed day, and keep a smile on your face, and let's keep those ears puckered up so that we're always listening, most of all, listening to Jesus. So my friends, let's have a short word of prayer as we end tonight's worship. Oh, great and heavenly God, we thank you for being so great. Please bless us now and teach us to be great listeners for the kingdom of God. In your name we pray, amen, amen. Blessings upon you all and see you all later. I'm Adventure Area Coordinator Christopher Bassraj, and once again saying thank you for joining us. All right, have a good night, guys. God bless. Ontario Adventures Breaking News. My name is Alessandro and I'll be your news reporter today. Welcome to today's program. The forecast today is slightly cloudy, reaching a max of 3 degrees Celsius and negative 6. Today, you'll be hearing from different reporters and they will be talking about parables of the Bible. Stay tuned and God bless. Let us pray. Please bow your head and close your eyes. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. We invite your holy presence to dwell with us. Please help that this worship goes according to your plan. I pray that everyone who participates does it to honor and glorify your name. I pray that this message of your parables will teach us valuable lessons of love, kindness, respect, faith. Please help that we all will receive a blessing and that this worship be acceptable and pleasing to you, Lord. Thank you for hearing and answering our prayers. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Peace like a river, I got peace like a river. I got peace like a river in my soul. I got peace like a river, I got peace like a river. I got peace like a river in my soul.
I got love like ocean, I got love like an ocean, I got love like an ocean in my soul. I got love like an ocean, I got love like an ocean, got love like an ocean in my soul. I got joy like a fountain, I got joy like a fountain, I got joy like a fountain in my soul. I got joy like a fountain, I got joy like a fountain, I got joy like a fountain in my soul. I got peace of a joy like a river, I got peace of a joy like a river, I got peace of a joy like a river in my soul. I got peace of a joy like a river, I got peace of a joy like a river, I got peace of a joy like a river in my soul. I got a piece of a joy like an ocean, I got a piece of a joy like an ocean, I got a piece of a joy like an ocean in my soul. I got a piece of a joy like an ocean, I got a piece of a joy like an ocean, I got a piece of a joy like an ocean in my soul. I got a piece of a joy like a moon, I got a piece of a joy like a fountain, I got a piece of a joy like a fountain in my soul. I got peace of a joy like a fountain, I got peace of a joy like a fountain, I got peace of a joy like a fountain in my soul. My God is so big, so strong, and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong, and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. He made the teeth, he made the seas. He made the elephants too. My God is so big, so strong, and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong, and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong, and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are hid, the rivers are hid, the skies are his handy word too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. There's nothing my God cannot do. There's nothing my God cannot do for you. Good evening and welcome to Northern Light News, a broadcast where I bring you current and up-to-date reports of news from around the world. Today I will be bringing you live reports from a farmer and witnesses who saw firsthand the impact of different surfaces or grounds on growing good fruit. Not only that, I will also have them share more insight on what it all means. Please join me now as I speak to our first guest, the farmer. Thank you for the opportunity to share. I truly was not expecting any of this to happen. After having a hearty, a, a hearty breakfast, I went out to gather the seeds so I can sow them on my farm, but I never but I never realized that there was a whole bag it, there was a hole in my bag causing me to lose a quite a bit a seed a bit a seed on my way on my way to the farm. It sounds like you had a large load of seeds transported. When did you first realize that you were losing seeds? Honestly, I didn't realize that seeds were missing until I returned home. But that time, it was too late. There you have it. The farmer who went out to gather and sow seeds ended up losing a significant amount of seeds that led to them falling on different grounds. I have our first witness who saw what happened shortly after the farmer began his journey home. 
Hello and welcome to our show. Please tell us what it was that you saw. Thank you for having me. Yes, while I was out minding my own business, I just happened to see what looked like a handful of seeds fall from the farmer and almost immediately a flock of birds swooped down and devoured all the seeds. It was an incredible sight. What I thought was most interesting was the farmer did not even notice. I cannot imagine how the farmer did not notice that a flock of birds were behind him. What lesson do you think we could learn from that experience? I suppose you could say the seeds are like people who hear the word of the heavenly kingdom and do not understand it. And then the birds are like the wicked one, the wicked one who comes and snatches away that was sown in his heart. Whoa. I would be afraid to be among those seeds. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. I'm curious to know what happened to the farmer and his other seeds along the way. Let us get another perspective from witness number two, who found seeds on hard, stony ground. Yes, what I saw was definitely not what I was expecting to see. As the farmer passed by me while I was entering my car, I noticed that a few seeds fell from his bag. It looked like there was a hole in his bag or something. What was interesting was that he never noticed that the seeds were falling out. Surprisingly, after a few days, I went back to the site where the seeds fell and noticed that they started to grow in the cracks along the sidewalk. They looked fairly green. But as soon as the sun came up, the roots were scorched and the plants that were growing all died. Can you tell us what ran through your mind when you saw that? Well, it quickly reminded me of what I heard about people who hear the word of God and immediately receives it with zeal. But it should live because their faith is not rooted in God. Basically, when things get tough, like tribulation or persecution, because of their faith, they stumble and will likely lose their faith. Well, there you have it. The seeds that fell on stony ground were like people who are not well-rooted in their faith in God. Here with me is witness number three who found some seeds among the thorns. Can you tell us about what you saw? Definitely, one afternoon, I was visiting my neighbor who had a field of overgrown plants. I saw the farmer passing by um, and noticed a, quite a few seeds falling, creating a trail behind it. He probably didn't notice because of all the stuff he was carrying. He was moving so fast, so I couldn't do anything. A few weeks later, we passed by the spot and saw that the seeds had gone. Most of the seeds had fallen among thorns, and the thorns sprang up and choked them. Fascinating. That sounds like someone who hears the word of God, but has a hard time because of the cares of this world and the deceitfulness of the riches that choke the Word of God. Exactly, I can give you more. Not only does the cares of this world and the deceitfulness of riches choke the world, that person becomes unfruitful. Well, thank you for the update. I have one more witness who saw seeds that mistakenly fell from a farmer on good ground. Please tell us what you saw. While I was out tending my own garden, the farmer passed by, and, and as described by others, he had quite the load. 
and never noticed the trail of seeds falling from his bag. Fortunately for him, those seeds fell on what I would consider the best soil in town. It was good ground. Within a few weeks, there was a crop. Some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. The yield was incredible. Wow, incredible. No one has ever described a yield like that before. So tell us, what does all this mean? Honestly, I heard a great teacher describe this situation as someone who hears the word of God and understands it. Someone who indeed bears fruit and produces. Some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. That's a great lesson to learn. We all should try not only to hear the word of God, but allow God to work in us in order to bear good fruit and have lots of produce. Thank you to all our participants today. And in closing, I would like to say, he who has ears, let him hear. Thank you for tuning in to another edition of Northern Lights News.
if you see this, sh if you see this sheep, please contact the Mighty Shepherd. It would really help him. The Mighty Shepherd left all the other sheep safe in their stalls and went to go search for the lost sheep. My parents told me a parable and it had a spiritual meaning. I know that when Jesus told a parable, it had a spiritual meaning. Well, what does that parable mean? Well, the mighty shepherd is Jesus and the sheep are all people just like you and I. We sometimes stray away from God, but he brings us back into relationship with him. He, he forgives our sins and heals our wounds and restores us back to him. Thank you. You're welcome. The mighty shepherd has found his sheep. He is pulling up a feast for everybody. gather lots of information and are able to share it with people around the world. Remember, God loves you and will always be there for you. This is Alessandro reporting to you from Ontario Adventures Breaking News. See you soon. Hi, my name is Gervonta. I'm from the Chatham Seventh-day Adventist Church and I'm going to be praying. Dear Jesus, I ask you to bring us home like how the shepherd brought his little baby sheep home. I ask you to protect us throughout the good throughout our lives. And I ask you to keep us safe. Like how the shepherd can keep his sheep safe. In Jesus' name. Can you think of some people from your church that you haven't seen in a while? Is there a person who is inevitably going through a difficult life transition right now? Or any elderly or sick needing your attention and care? Have you spoken to them recently? It's time to create a plan. Connect with them using a language that everyone can understand. It's time to serve Show them that they are loved and never forgotten. Assuredly, I say to you, inasmuch as you did it to one of the least of these my brethren, you did it to me. Share the good news of Jesus Christ to all the world. What a wonderful time this will be. We cannot wait. Global Youth Day 2022. Loving the Forgotten.